Hey everybody, this is Ditto from Reef to Reef. This is a follow-up video based on a post that I posted on Reef to Reef where I showed and explained how to use feed timers for your skimmer. And I've included the link to that video in the video description below. A question was brought up about how do you stagger your skimmer's restart timer from their main pumps? So in the example, your main pumps and your skimmer are both using feed timers, but you might want your skimmer to turn on after your return pumps. And they asked, how would you achieve this? So in this video, I'm going to show how to achieve that utilizing the GHL Connect app and Advanced Program Logic. So let's get started. On your Android or Apple device, find the GHL Connect icon and open up the application. With the GHL Connect application open, you'll be presented with the devices configured for GHL Connect. Choose your Proflex controller. Now, click on the hamburger icon in the upper left hand corner of the screen and choose Program Logic. You'll be presented with a list of available program logics that you can program. For me, I will be using Program Logic 2. Once you have selected the program logic, you will have the ability to create advanced logic that can be used to impact switch ports, for example, the one that the, with which the skimmer is plugged into. For input 1, Click on the function menu and choose filter, and then choose the filter number you want your skimmer to be impacted by, feed mode, and in my previous video I used feed pause 1, so I'm going to choose 1. Now click on the operator. You're going to notice an extensive list here of the types of operations that you can use in advanced program logic, and I will be covering these in some additional videos soon to follow this video. For now, choose delayed on. This tells the program logic that even after the feed timer is completed, you still want to have the additional time before power is restored to the switch outlet. Now enter in a duration. For the example on the reef to reef forms, they were looking for five to 10 minutes, so I'm gonna be entering in 600 seconds or 10 minutes. Click save. Now we need to apply that program logic to the switch channel. In the upper left hand corner of the screen, click on the hamburger icon. Choose switch channels. For me, my skimmer is currently programmed and plugged into switch channel six. I need to update it. So choose the switch channel with which your skimmer is plugged into. Clicking on the switch channel, you'll be presented with the options used to program the switch channel. Click on the functions drop down menu option. Scroll down the menu list and choose program logic. Then select the program logic number that you used to set up above. For me, it was number two. Then click save. That's it. You've now applied the program logic to your switch port. So let's go ahead and test it. From the dashboard, click feed fish. I am now going to go over to the switch channel that is used for my skimmer and you're going to notice it's now off. I also programmed another switch channel, switch channel seven, which is only being used as the original feed timer you're going to notice that they're both off. Now I'm going to go back to the dashboard and I'm going to click feed fish again, therefore stopping the feed fish function. I am now going to go back to switch channels and you're going to notice that switch channel six is still off and will remain off for an additional 10 minutes while switch channel seven is on and that's it. You've now configured your first advanced program logic for your Proflex controller. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Or as always, you can find me on Reef to Reef. This is Ditto, signing off.